Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have got a ton of work to do today. So what I thought I would do was do another video on a behind the mic or in the studio and uh, we'll show you some of my workflow. So you'll uh, watch as I go through recording, editing and submitting orders. So enjoy. All right, let's put the headphones on and let's get started. I'm just reading through the script first so I get a feel for how I need to approach this in terms of tone and feel. Um, this client sends me scripts that are... Um, usually all about the same thing they are um well i should say they have a they have a client that um i do a lot of scripts for um for product presentations so they're all pretty much the same but um i still like to read through the script first just to make sure there isn't anything different or it's not a different type of script but it looks like it's a product script so Let's get started. And as you know, I cannot let you hear this, so I'll play some music while I record. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a half a second of room tone and copy it. And then I'm going to shorten the head by that half second. And then in my effects rack, I have um, some presets saved to how I like my, um, how I like my orders to sound, how I like my voiceovers to sound. They'll take out some of the mouth noise that I am afflicted with and um, a hard limiter, which um, automatically reduces and increases some of the, the transients that you have, like, um, like these, like this here. That's, that's a high peak that shouldn't be there. But once I apply my rack, it'll improve the sound of my voice, reduce the crackles, and uh, um, fix the peaks and lows to kind of, um, there's a little bit of compression in there too, also with the CLA vocals plug-in. So it'll just make it sound better. But um, while I have the rack on, I can actually hear what this final uh, voiceover will sound like once I apply it. So as I'm editing, I like to hear the final, the final version so I can so I know it'll sound okay or not. <laughs> All right, so let's edit this. So like I said, the first thing I'm going to do is to reduce the head by half a second, and then I'm going to go through and listen, and then take out any other... If you hit B, it'll give you the, the healing brush, which is down here in the spectral display, which will get rid of, uh, additionally, some of these little 
mouth pops and stuff that the uh, X crackle won't take out. Otherwise, you have to crank it way up and it takes out way too much of your T's and S's. So let's go through and edit this. Now, if you noticed while I was recording, I have a clicker. This little guy right here, this thing. Now, some people prefer to do the punch and roll when they record, but I like this clicker. When you're recording and you click it, when you make a mistake, it creates a peak like this one here. So it's easy to see where my mistakes are so I can cut them out easier. It just speeds things up a little bit. So I'm going to put my marker at the beginning of the mistake and then delete till the very beginning of the corrected take and then delete it and play back and make sure it all fits right. So the client had said in their email that they didn't need this last line. So I recorded it in more than a half of them. So I'm just going to remove that last line going forward because they don't need it. <laughs> And I recorded it anyway. All right. So let's take that half second of room tone that we have in our clipboard. And I'm going to paste it here. And what I'm doing to paste is just control V once you have your area selected in Adobe Audition. Um, so I'm just going to, I've already been through this entire file. So I know um, what it sounds like. I've already removed some of the other mouth noise clicks and pops and stuff. So now that I have this all edited, I'm going to apply my rack. And see, now it's all nice and even and it will play six individual back panels where it should at about six, negative six dB, which is pretty, pretty standard for voiceover. That sounds great. Okay, so I'm going to save it as MP3. And then now that is ready for the client. So now I'm going to go through the rest of the files and edit them and process them the same way. So once you've been editing enough, and looking at your own waveform, you can start to just see where the clicks and pops of your mouth are. Like for instance, this here, I wanna get rid of that. These in here, these are like little clicks or, you know, little, this is so gross, but the saliva noise in your mouth. Yeah, that's what that is. This Sennheiser is so sensitive. It picks up everything, which is good and bad. So. So that was a boo-boo. So I got to go back and remove that front section. Now, I might be going over the top with some of the editing here, but I'm picky. <laughs> I like it to sound really good. Might take a little extra time, but it's worth it in the end. So there's another boo-boo. See, dang it. All right, let's get rid of that. This was a tongue twister. Now, I'm sure as you're editing your stuff, you probably won't need to go through all of this, but I do. Everyone's got their own. I mean, everybody voice, everybody's voice is different. Everyone's deliveries are different. So yours may not take as much post-production effort as mine do. Or maybe you just don't want to, and that's fine. But this is just what I like to do. You don't necessarily have to do this. I'm just going through my workflow so you can get an idea of how everything works and um, pretty much how, how this is delivered from start to finish. So you do it how you want to do it. This is how I do it. <laughs> and then now add my rack. Boop. Okay, now we're going to save it as MP3 and move on to the next one.
Oh, turn on my rack. So we got those scripts done and sent off to the client. And that's it for this session. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>